Hello, everyone. I'm Xiao. My poster title is Current Land Subsidence Intense in China Derived from Sentinel 1 Data and GPS Data from 2014 to 2019. My poster includes mainly five parts. Um, the starting area is located in northern China next to the capital. It is a very significant city, no matter in politics and the economics. For the geological backgrounds, there is no obvious tectonic movements for this area. And there are five main aquifers from aquifer one to aquifer five. Previous study have shown that since 1950s, serious subsidence has influenced the changing. But the subsidence center has extended from central urban area and the Pinghai New District to uh, suburban area. Previous study also mainly focused on the subsidence in one short period or specific part area using single method. So in our research, we hope to combine both GPS and user data from two tracks to analyze the subsidence and consider its relationship with groundwater withdrawal. We hope to achieve all of these goals by combining GPS and INSA data and cracks the atmospheric errors by using all of these measures, we have to analyze subsidence from 2014 to 2019. So, um, uh, uh, until now, we have processed all GPS and INSA data from 2014 to 2019. The original results is from GMPSAR. We can see that without correction, it didn't correlate well with GPS station. Mm, to remove the atmospheric errors, we use the uh, removing atmospheric point method for the whole image and refer to one PS point, that is one stable GPS station. After correction, it correlates well with the GPS station. To see the details, we cut some profiles. It shows that the largest subsidence center is located in Wuqing area, and uh, the GMPSR regional results, results kind of underestimate the subsidence rate. This is because um, subsidence is small deformation of large scale in a long period. So the millimeter deformation has exceeded the accuracy level of INSA can detect. For the spatial correlation, we only talk about aquifer two, three, and four. This is because that aquifer one is only unconfined aquifer here. It continuously receives vertical recharge from precipitation, so we didn't consider it. Oh, sorry, for consider two, the depression core mainly corresponds to this, uh, this area and this area. So it tends now to be the main uh, factor we need to focus on. For aquifer three, we can see that the subsidence area is almost outlined by the depression core of aquifer three. So this is the main reason we need to focus on. We also extracted the subsidence rate from our corrected result at the layerwise mark location in Xixing district and compare these results with accumulated subsidence to adapt shallower than 566 meters below the land surface, and the accumulated subsidence in aquifer 3. We can see that our results correlate well with the layer-wise mark. This also proves the reliability of our results. But we found that the total subsidence has is been larger for the aquifer 3 subsidence. This means that aquifer 4 also have a great um, influence this has been um, proved by previous studies. So to see the details of the main um, factors, we did some principal component analysis for this area. Here we retain the first three principal components as their total percentage of variance explained exceeded 97% um, percent covering the most part of the influencing factors. For the first component corresponds to the major trend of time series displacement. It corresponds to the INSA time series as it's shown the continuous subsidence. For principal component, uh, principal component two, the score map shows a distinguishable pattern with negative uh, values in the south of Wuqing district, central district, and the Tangzhou uh, city in the Hebei province. We can combine its uh, um, NG vector. Principle two suggests a considerable increase of aquifer three. Uh, aquifer, uh, Groundwater depression count for uh, aquifer three after 2017. This means that aquifer three is the main aquifer without any the subsidence in this series areas. For the principal uh, component three, it corresponds to the seasonal deformation as shown by the NG vector time series. This is our summary and references. Thank you all.